the best in the world. CM Punk made his return with a flood of emotions, but he knows he now has unfinished business and a story of his own to complete. After nearly a decade away from WWE, Punk can still compete at a high level, and he'll need that with today's competitors. A polarizing figure, but Punk is determined to be the best. Punk's return was an amazing moment, but now he must capitalize. Yeah, easier said than done because the competition is now at an all-time high. Is being the best in the world still good enough? The UK Dynamo has arrived. And his opponent from Jersey, the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier, a standout of NXT UK, one of the most entertaining competitors in the history of that brand. And he's brought that same energy to the U.S. and the entire WWE Universe. Is about to see it right about now. Keep your eyes on the skies when Nathan Frazier competes. I agree, Byron. This dude is fun to watch, and he is unstoppable once he gets going. And his athletics are unmatched. Here we go with one of the most controversial and polarizing figures in the history of the WWE. Face first. Uh, setting up on a Koji Clark. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Frazier gets met with a response. Elbow drop. Piercing. This match grinded him down a little. Ah, oh, had that well scouted. Springboard corkscrew crossbody. And there's the kick out. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Not that CM Punk thinks he needs it, but any words of advice for the veteran competitor, Corey? Stick with what has brought you to the dance. Strike with your innovative offense every chance you get. Sidekick finds the mark. CM Punk with a joy, Yoranagi. Look at this. The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? A uh, couple of knees there. That'll get him out. Snap suplex, very effective. Spectacular athleticism. Saw it coming. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission here? Wrenched over. It. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. CM Punk. Uh-oh. Can't quite get him there. After humble beginnings, this has really grown into a career-defining conflict for these superstars. For years, their names will be spoken together as everyone recalls the war they waged against one another. Yeah, this is history in the making, guys. Swing neckbreaker. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Things now not going well for CM Punk. Punk needs to reformulate a strategy. Oh, my Lord! Oh, targeting 
the stomach. Taking the wind out with a stop to the solar plexus. Excellent opportunity for Punk to shift the momentum. Trading back and forth blows now. <laughs> Slugging away with everything they've got. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. Toe-to-toe, -to -toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Two fighters putting their handmakers on autopilot right now. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Who will break first? That is the question. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. Frazier able to reverse that. He climbs into the ring. And Zagiri finds its mark. Punk has him trapped up across the shoulders. Good night, GTS. That could be Frazier's demise. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here is your winner. And this is quite the win for CM Punk. The best in the world once again living up to the moniker. Punk wouldn't have had it any other way. Caden Carter and Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Yeah, yeah. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance in Caden Carter. Somehow their energy's already turned up to 11. Hey, they dance as good as they wrestle. Go, Kaden. Go, Kaden. Byron, I'm a much better dancer. You know I've won many dance contests. Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, two women who are not here to make friends. Who needs friends when you're destined for greatness like they are? And their opponents, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. When Chelsea and Piper joined forces, it wasn't exactly a well thought out plan. Most people within WWE and on social media didn't think this would work out at all. 
I should be surprised by you two, Matthew and Brian. Whatever it is, you can't argue with results. This duo is big and bad. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. And always ready to launch an assault, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven are ready for this one. Though unlikely, we can only hope Chelsea keeps her mouth closed. Even her partner, Piper Niven, can't stand all of her yapping. It's a lot of talk, but this team comes together when you least expect them to, and they wreak havoc on their opposition. Into the pin attempt! Talk about dismantling your opponent. So she tags in. Deconstructing the knee there. MCL and ACL could have major damage, possibly the fibula. Excellent strategy there. Placing them into the corner. Oh, right to the body. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. She returns the favor there. She's starting to look concerned. And a sear. She can end it here. And she kicks out at two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Ooh. Oh, my! Counters that. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Counter from Carter. Oh, fellas, we are looking at a mounted thrashing here. Goodness, calm down. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Tough position to be caught in here. Planet face first. Fist pulls a hair into the snapmare. Oh my God, this is just nasty. Counters right back on Chelsea. Drop kick to the knee. A precision strike like that had to be calculated. Oh, just making their opponent suffer with their boot. Oh, absolutely punished. Shoulders down. Four, two. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Yeah. Oh, she hit the corner hard. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Got to hurt. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. She's got an answer for that. Yeah. Wrist lock applied. Watch this agility. Into the open. Can she keep her down? One, two, and still hanging on. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. There's the tag. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Oh, right 
right to the body. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Ooh, what? wasn't expecting that. Oh, Elevated. Here's the cover. Fends off the three count. Able to squeeze that shoulder out so close. Just brutalizing her opponent here. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Defensive elbow to the gut ends that. <laughs> Left by the turnbuckles. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, well scouted by Carter. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. And Caden was scouted there. Nasty one right to the chest. For the pin and the win. Yes. Breaks the count. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Something. She's on unstuck. Tag made. What do these two superstars have in mind? From the top, no, from the shoulders. What in the world? All the way to the middle of the ring. Crashing down hard with a senton. Nivens on her last breath. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. And there's the save. And she'll make the tag. Ooh, look at her answering back. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? You can't take much more of this. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Precise drop kick to the base of the skull. Drops the leg. For the win. Two. And she fights it off. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. <laughs> Into the court. Nibben looking for something here. Did Niven end it there? Cover! Stopping the refs counting too. Obviously still has some fight left. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Turning the tables. Oh, setting them up. Chelsea Green about to close this one down. Chelsea Green looking to remind everyone, I'm prettier. No way Katana recovers from that. Is it enough? The cover! Oh, she picked up the victory, picked up the victory! Here are your winners, the team.
Not for lack of effort, but Katana Chance and Caden Carter just couldn't get the win tonight. The party's over and their music isn't playing. Chance and Carter just not able to get it done tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On their way to the ring, accompanied by Jinder Mahal, at a combined weight of 572 pounds, Veer Mahal and Sangha Indus Share. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. The original, the official, the only club that matters. More championships among the three than most of the locker room combined. And their opponents, accompanied by Meat Chan. At a combined weight of 505 pounds, the World Tag Team Champions, Luke Gus and Carl Anderson, the OC. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. You can see the look of intensity on their faces already. The fun and games are over. I am not envious of their opponents at all. They're in store for an old-fashioned butt-whooping, guys. There's the bell, and we're about to see the sheer brutality of Indus Sheer. These guys feel they haven't been given the opportunities they deserve. They're here to take what's theirs, and they're doing that with unadulterated aggression. The question is, will their dominance be seen and heard tonight? And the OC's ready to get down and dirty if they have to. This is a team who knows how to win, who knows how to beat up the competition, who knows how to celebrate when it's all said and done. 
a collective unit. There are no egos within the OC. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Ow. Oh, God. Set up for something in the corner. He catches Gallows with a big counter. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Ooh. Ooh, just ate that kick to the face. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Brutal short on Larry. And the Lion looked more... And he goes for the pin. Stops the count before it, too. Not getting the two at this point has... Wait, 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 wait! Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? He's not even close to being done yet. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, Veer counters. Oh! He deflects it right back. Waist lock, no, no! Belly to belly! My goodness! He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Tag made. What are we gonna see now? The OC! The magic killer! No way, Veer recovers from that. Makes it cover! Save! <laughs> Still got more fight here. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Strong overhead chops. Down another. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Oh, I heard a snap. Crackle, pop. Carl gets jolted by the counter. Ah, oh, clubbing blow to the back. Oh, man. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. Reversal, what a counter. Into the corner now. Tag made. Double team offense on its way. Perch now on the ropes, dropping the elbow. Veer might have this wrapped up. Shoulders down. No! Everyone thought that was three. Gets the tag. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Would you look at this? She's removing the turnbuckle pad now. This match is brutality starting to show on him. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. And he sends him into the corner. Carl wards that attack off. Just hot shot it to the outside. Oh, he retaliates.
out there slamming their face down. Bam! Suplex. Does he get him here? Guys, he put him away. That's a pretty big win. Here are your winners. Beer, not home. And Sunga Indes. The winners of this match, Indus Shearer. Gives you hope for the future of the tag division. Great tag team action on display, guys. Uh, ready to go for tag team action. Chopping at the bit from behind and attack from behind. Where the hell did these two come from? Come on, this is ridiculous. An ambush before the match? These two can't compete, can they? No Not way. after an attack like that. There's no way they can compete. Despite the fact that their opponents seem more than ready, that this isn't right. Might not be right, but I believe it's going to happen. They're still insisting on having the match. This is nuts. Well, there's no way you can consider this a fair fight anymore. I actually agree with you both. These attackers weren't supposed to be part of the match, but that attack might end up altering the outcome. The tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. Oh, <laughs> what a forearm. Things went from bad to worse. This game's about winning at any and all costs. This competitor knows exactly what they want to do. Perched on the top row. And it is Superplex. Believe me when I say you cannot. He can pin his opponent right here. He forces a break before the count of two. He clearly has no intention of staying down. He was elusive there. All the way up. The power of the gut wrench suplex. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Enough already. Uh-oh. He switches it back around. Oh, Damon answers back. With an uppercut. Oh, God, that hurt. Clean tag for his partner. Just a dominant display. Incredible power slam. Knew what Ricky had coming. position. Snake eyes. He went right into that turnbuckle. That's a hold of the arm, a chop for good measure. Not done yet. What a chillity. Nice arm. Cover, cover. Denying a two count there. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought.
Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Arm drag, nicely done. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Oh, here we go. This is raw power. What a gut wrench powerbomb. You have to question what kind of mountain of ten is behind a powerbomb with that much force. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Steamboat taking care of business with that attack. Gut wrench suplex. And Vinci is keeping the match at his pace. Steamboat is being completely neutralized. Absolute dominance. He can end it here. Just kicks out. He really thought that was it. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Partner tags in. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. He's in off the tag. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. A ripping and tearing at the face. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. And an elbow. Now a series of vicious stunts in the turnbuckle. Stunts. Oh, a wicked kick to the lower back. Kemp comes right back at him. One. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Electric chair. Wait a minute. My goodness. Talk about a change of plans. I think I speak for everyone when I say that this rivalry has gotten out of hand. Neither side of this thing has any caution for the well-being of the other. This isn't about who's better anymore. This is about taking out the competition. Some might even argue that the better more than a superstar can do to put him away. Tagged in. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. What? Hoist it up. Back suplex delivered. Looking wobbly in the corner. Vinci with the pump handle, Olympic slam. Looking for the victory. Two count, and they're still in this. Off the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Tagging his partner in now. I believe. 
believe the end is near. Bruised but not broken. This one is going as long as there's breath in their lungs. Trapping both of their opponents' arms and hoisted up into a double. He's flailing, desperately trying to get out of this situation. Ludwig Kaiser. Oh, my goodness, Bruton! Steve Boat's in deep peril here. Cover! Two! Oh, he was almost finished! you got to be kidding me! Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. He got whipped into that corner. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Boom, right across the small of the back. He's on his heels a bit now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. One after another. He's turning the tables. And scissors Ooh. take that. Oh, very nice. And I think, oh yeah, Kaiser is bleeding. Gotta hurt. Ooh, brutal body shot. Shot to the midsection connects. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat tags in. Here we go. Start the count. Any more punches, and Saxon's gonna have to take his shoes off the count. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. The end may be it. It could be over here. This is it. Oh, barely kicks out. That is just pure instinct at this point. Oh, strong impact. The energy in here is palpable. Something truly special is unfolding before our eyes. Oh, vicious headbutt. Position across the shoulders. Nice rolling fireman's carry. Way up and down hard. This match may be nearing its limit. This has just been an. <laughs> Vinci. Spinning sit out power bomb. Vinci stamping an end to this. The cover. Coming to the rescue. the cover and there's the win huge win here tonight here are your winners the team of damon kip and ricky the dragon steamboat talk about a solid win everything went their way here only because the opposition got softened up by that attack earlier but you're right Victory is theirs. It took plenty of cunning and some killer instinct, but what a win. Maybe not the words I would have chosen for describing how they pulled this off, but yeah, they won.
Here comes the architect, Seth Rollins, the self-proclaimed future of WWE. Ready to go and do exactly what he does best. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. Introducing first, representing the authority from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. The man who bought in. The man who knows what's best for business. Oh, more like the man who sold out, who proved he cares about no one but himself. Well, it's lonely at the top, Saxton, and that's exactly where Rollins wants to be. And when the architect has his sights set on something, it's only an inevitability. Carrying the weight of this company on his back, Rollins refuses to crumble under the pressure. In fact, he thrives on the pressure. He wants to be the guy. He believes it's the time the torch is passed down to him. One of the most prolific competitors in WWE history. Without question, a man who has exhibited over 25 years of dominance in sports entertainment. And that dominance will continue before our very eyes tonight. And representing the authority from Greenwich, Connecticut, Weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H! Throughout his career, he has transformed himself into a household name. That's after results of a career spanning decades of main events and championship reigns. Triple H has inspired so many modern superstars. And he can still go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Take no prisoners in the boardroom or in the ring. That's the mantra of Triple H. A man who possesses the singular driving focus to be the absolute best in his career and life. And yeah, knowing that makes him an extremely difficult opponent to prepare for. The game is about to begin. Hold on tight, everybody. It's time for some big Duke energy. Duke Hudson earned some major success in NXT and wants to expand his horizons. And we're presenting Chase Yu from Adelaide, South Australia, weighing in at 253 pounds. Duke! Duke Hudson is such an inspiration. His fellow students know to work hard, fight for their dreams, and always go above and beyond. There's a reason why that MVP trophy is made of solid gold. Duke's the real deal. We're looking at a big brawler with ridiculous power and deceptive agility. We know Duke understands the assignment. He's the one who created it. Check page five of the syllabus. Mm -hmm, yeah, Duke did his thesis on the empowerment of striking first and taking matters into your own hands.
Here comes the face of an educational movement. And we're presenting Chase U from Draper, North Carolina, weighing in at 216 pounds, Andre Chase. I gotta say, I'm a big fan of this guy and his fashion choices too. Well, ugly sweaters are the only thing you two have in common, Saxton, because Chase can actually wrestle. I wonder if Andre can maybe offer Saxton a scholarship to Chase University after the match. The LWO is in the building. It's time for everyone to stand up and take notice. And at a combined weight of 365 pounds, Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro, the Paying homage to the original founding fathers of the LWO. This is a team that represents their Latino culture openly and proudly. They've become a family of sorts, Michael. They win together, they lose together, but they always fight together. Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with their hand raised is going to make a strong case for being the best in WWE. Great strength being shown here. Respect at all with that action, but it can also be meant to antagonize. Could be a method of luring your opponent into a mistake. Danger is constantly lurking in a no disqualification match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting whipped. Chase getting taught a lesson of his own. That's a real showcase of Del Toro's talent. Frustration might be 
is starting to set in. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. The oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And Zagiri finds his mark. Here comes the setup, double underhook. And here's a cover. Now back to Triple H. Triple H with the finishing touches on this one. This win tonight may have been a career-defining moment. They're definitely celebrating like it was. The consummate underdog of the women's division, Zelina Vega. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega. Zelina has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. She won the Queen's crown and reformed the LWO. And Zelina's not showing any signs of slowing down. Zelina was no stranger to success before, but now she seems destined for the top. One of the top names in women's independent wrestling, Zoe Stark. Now looking to prove herself in WWE. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, the WWE Women's Champion, Zoe Stark! You know, Stark has had plenty of championship gold in NXT, but did not miss a step when joining the main roster and continuing her dominance on the biggest stages. And that's because Zoe has the attitude you need to be a success in WWE. And we've got Zoe Stark in action here. Stark will get in anyone's face and utilize her power to drop them. Stark has made it abundantly clear that she's the baddest woman walking in sports entertainment. Stark is creating her own opportunities, and she is not concerned about who falls victim to her dominance. And fighting out of the opposite corner, Zelina Vega. She has an unmatched passion for the fight. She might be on the smaller side, but that amount of passion adds three feet to her height. When Zelina is locked in on her opponent, she's insurmountable. Her focus on winning is unshakable at times. Shoulders down. Is it enough? And she gets the shoulders up. She's not going to go that quietly. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hold. That's a great counter there. And turns it into a great offensive maneuver. Oh, 
she turns it around. Oh, right to the leg. Zoe Stark loves to bring the fight to her opponents, but that kind of strike first, ask questions later mentality can lead to mistakes. If Stark's smart, she'll be more methodical in this match and act strategically. Crashing down with the senton. And that might have just detoured Zoe's typical focus. Zelina proving too much to handle with that. She avoids the attack completely. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. It takes a certain level of athleticism. Ah, oh, look at this. Uh-oh, we got some company. Look at this. She wasn't expecting this at all. Apparently someone else is taking issue whoa, 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 from behind. Allowing themselves to be distracted from the task at hand is going to cost them. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Constant pressure being kept on Zoe. Zoe has to wake herself up and turn her intensity up a notch. Incoming! Oh, no! And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. Coming her way now. And Zelina reverses it. No punters. Counters with an attack on Zelina. Able to get the advantage. Oh no, she could be caught here. Bad situation for her. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, well, what a reversal. Great move. She needs to get out of here in a hurry. Strike. Oh, costly error there. <laughs> Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Ooh, she responds with a counter. <laughs> Soaring. Oh, no. Crashing hard to the floor, crashing and burning in maybe the worst way possible. Oh! Whoa. Knee strike! <laughs> Face first. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. She's showing signs of slowing now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Bang! Oh, oh man. Oh. Dark trying to put her opponent off balance. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver. Big time Lariat. Starting to fire up. Where is the superstar getting this from? This is incredible. Shoulders down. Got it. No, just a two. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Ow. Connects on the kick. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Zoe's in dire straits. Cover. Boy, win. Here is your winner, Zelina Vega. Celebrate this win. You deserve it for focusing up and keeping your eye on the ball. Hey, they were just trying to keep them on their toes here. And guess what? They did. So it looks like a win-win to...
Double champ in the building. Skills so nice, they call him champ twice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion. And the NXT Champion. The American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two? It has to be immense. You know he's going to be fighting for it all in this match. Yeah, he's made it clear he is dead set on remaining on top of the mountain with those two titles. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. Yeah, man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent. He's proud of his past in the United Kingdom and Europe. But now he looks to conquer the world. Few competitors can match Bates' in-ring fundamentals. Indeed, a guy who knows his game inside and out. Tyler Bate can keep it high class in textbook or get down and dirty. Tyler Bate calls himself the big strong boy despite his size. Gets the message across. Bate exceeds all expectations, is a much bigger threat than he may appear to be. Yeah, Bate may be built like a cruise. He thinks he has it. And he gets the shoulder up before two. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Turned that one around. Hooked him up. And a suplex. Which of Cody's skills do you think will come to bear tonight? In his time away from WWE, Cody has become a next-level brawler. And honestly, that might be his best bet here. Just get down and dirty with the competition. Don't back down. Remind them he's the son of a son of a plumber. Watch out! Ronnie pulled off. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Delivering the Verda Breaker. He's taking some good hits. See that coming. Hits him with the counter. Oh, turn down the lights. Kick everybody out. Curtain call. This athleticism is off the charts. Cody is feeling a rush of confidence right now. 
Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, my goodness. An impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Springboard! What? Oh, are you kidding me? Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. Caught the leg and makes them pay. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Yeah, Bates just having a good time grinding him down. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver. And he very quickly counters. Rhodes letting his opponent know who's in charge. Right to the kidneys from behind. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Attacking the arm. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Oh, jarring back elbow. Attacking the knee. Knees up, got the knees up at the last second. Able to avoid there. Oh, a springboard roundhouse. Kick gets caught. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alley-oop! He's in a bad way, guys. Not what you want to see by any means. Whoa! Roll up out of nowhere! Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. These competitors are pushing themselves beyond their limits. Yeah, it's definitely not every night we see a match like this. Oh, what a cover! Shoulders are down! That will end it. Here is your winner, the Bates suffering a loss here tonight. Cody knew what he needed to do and leaves the battlefield in triumph. All the heart, the fire, and the determination. Tonight belongs to the American Nightmare. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Sammy Zayn! The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is gonna be good.
Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. You know, I think it's safe to say the almighty Bobby Lashley is treading in demigod territory at this particular juncture. Lashley is standing in rarefied air. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. This one's official, and when it comes to the almighty, Lashley often looks to strike first and begin manhandling his opponents right away. We know when it comes to the almighty, there is no hype. Lashley operates on an insane level every day of his life. There really is no destructive force quite like the almighty. And he is going to have his hands full facing off against a man with an unprecedented amount of momentum right now, Sami Zayn. The persistence of Sami Zayn is unwavering, even when the odds are against him. And for so much of his career, the odds have been against Sami Zayn. But he's at an all-time high, so his opponent is in for... Will this be enough? He's able to kick out before two. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Quick thinking from Lashley. Powerless position to be in right now. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Sammy can't find a foothold in this match. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sammy. Able to give him the slip. Belly to belly suplex. And Zayn looked rock. If he's got a strategy, he might want to think about tapping into it. Lashley showing off his superhuman power with that attack. That didn't go Lashley's way. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Oof, lands the haymaker. So much has been made of the strength of Bobby Lashley, but what about his intangibles, Corey? The only thing stronger than Lashley's muscles is his will to win. If the Almighty keeps his composure, there is nothing to stop him from imposing that will on anybody he's in the ring with. Well, that'll weaken your arm. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Oh, the physicality on display there, unbelievable. Uppercut connects. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, put down face first. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. creates an opening with a counter. now. 
Reversal on Lashley. Taking off from the ropes. Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. Smash, nothing fancy. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah! Power bomb. Looking to crush the hamstring. Oh. Another one? Well placed, knees to the hamstring. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. We might be close to the end. Yeah, not looking good at all. Sami Zayn needs to dig down deep as he's done so many times in the past. Right to the face. My God. Stop after stop after stop. The stop in every single part of his body. Put into the corner now. Got two. Here we go, your favorite call, Blue Thunder Bomb. That's gotta be it. Two. No, stops the count at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Fighting back with a counter. Sitching in the hurt line. Oh, Sami Zayn's closing in. It could be tap out time. Can Sami Zayn somehow get out of this? Full Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. <laughs> Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. a step ahead. Down face first. For the win. Two. Man, that was such a long and hard fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner. The Sami Zayn can consider himself dominated. All right, here comes his opponent from behind. And it's black from behind. Rolled back into the ring. How is he even going to be in any condition to compete now? The official checking on him, and I guess, I guess he says he's good. 
I believe the attacker was probably a bit worried about this match, hence the sneak attack. We gotta respect the determination of this competitor, despite that sneak attack, still willing to compete. They're brave, even if they are dumb. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match, so anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. Yeah, clearly there's nothing but bad intentions in the air right now. These competitors are ready to have a real battle. Sometimes that's the only way to settle things between superstars. At least now it's contained within the confines of the ring. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. And there is no other term for that than just cheap, a cheap shot. Oh, stop right to the hand. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Just stomping every single part of his body. And a mud hole is being stomped. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. He could pin his opponent right here. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Somehow, some way. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Satellite DDT. And the momentum's clearly against West now. Can West recover? No way! The dive! A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Flying forearm. When he lacks in size, Wesley more than makes up for in speed and agility. Could that be enough tonight, Corey? Those traits definitely put Wesley in the highlight reel, but what really makes him a winner is his incredible resiliency. He needs to depend on that tonight. Kick right to the back of the leg. Ouch. Nice sharp backhand. There's the kick. And pressure there being placed onto Dominic. Lee causing damage and making it look good. Oh, it's through Muso, my God. That extra rotation creates so much more force than a standard splash. West showcasing his strength. West leaves resiliency on display right there, and it just might bring him a victory tonight. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Oh, what a knee strike. And Wes's counter. Bam! Down he goes. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. You can tell there's a serious grudge that needs to be worked out here. Well, there's no better place to do it. The time for talk is over. Now we'll see if actions can put an end to this rivalry. Or if they just make things worse. I don't know if Dominic can withstand much more of this. Wes continues on the assault, keeping things at his pace. Goes into the pin. Two count, kick out, close to three. He thought he had it. Carefully placed, stomp to the arm. Ah, look at this. An arm breaker. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. Rip Courtney. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Here we go. Ah, misses the mark. Sweep. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Was right across the throat, now struggling for air. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. And Dominic is really dialed in right now. Can Wes recover from this adversity? Oh, to the arm. Boom! A forearm smack! 
And that will leave Wes with a cause for concern. That has to serve as a wake-up call for Wes. And count on the apron. Oh my God, what a cross body. Ooh, four. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. Going way up high. Oh, look out. Floating through the air. Wes with an opening to go high. From the top rope. Beautiful drop kick. Hoping to end it here. He kicks out at two. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Once more, setting it up. Now Wes needs to end this. Looking for the victory! Two! And yes, Lee gets the win. Here is your winner, Wes Facing some serious adversity and still coming out on top. This is a well-earned win, no question there. Toughness was on display in this one. Just such a thrill to see that kind of opposition get overcome. I guess nothing could stand in their way tonight. They were committed to getting the W.